Hello wonderful people, welcome to my tutorial for today. I trust you are all doing fine. If you are new and stopping by for the first time, you are highly welcome. To my existing subscribers, thank you so much. This is the middle woman. Feel free to subscribe before leaving. And I hope you are do doing well and being innovative in your endeavor. Today we are going to be making a Danshiki dress. Okay, and I'll be using two yards of this Ankara fabric for our tutorial. So quickly, this should not take much of our time. Let's go to the cutting table and do justice to it. So I already folded into two. We are going to be folding again into two to make it into four. But the second fold should fall not many inches away from your shoulder measurements my shoulder is eight and a half inches that is 17 inches which is here and then the length of my dashiki is 42 and for this ankara fabric the length here is 45 so i'll use the extra inches for food okay So I'm going to proceed to measure my shoulder inches down to the hemline. I'll take it this way, eight and a half. I'll continue to measure until I get to the hemline. Okay, so I joined the lines. Next will be to cut it the way it is. Okay, now at this point, if you are going to use an embroidery like this for the front, you are not to give it any neckline cut, okay? The people who do the embroidery will do justice to that. Alright, I hope you get me. But if you don't want to use this, like you want to put stones, rhinestones, or you want to use bead, you then give it the neckline okay i brought this to show you so that you follow along properly all right if you are making this kind of neck you just take it to the people who do dream about it the way it is and they will fashion out the neck for you the way it is just here but otherwise you give your neckline okay so since because i want to complete this tutorial i will not be going to the embroidery i will have to give my own neckline i'll use a neck width of four inches and then neck depth for back i'll use just one inch and then for front i'm going to be using five inches Maybe I should make this three and a half. So for back is just one inch. And then for front. So I'll move the back first of all. Okay. Okay, so now I separated it. This is the front and this is the back. No shoulders with so I'm removing this. Okay. I'll be slitting the neck as well. And a 
off. So I'm opening from here to this point. Okay. So we're going to be cutting the sleeve now, which will also move from this shoulder down to the hemline, okay? You decide how many inches you want to use for your sleeve. For me, I think 11 inches is fine. Okay, so for the sleeve, I'm using 11 inches. Is here. I'll add one inch for food. So 12 inches in all, I'll measure it down. Down to the hemline as well and cut it. Okay, so this is what I have. I'll cut it out. I'll also place my armhole measurement. I'm using 11 inches. Okay. Here we are not taking any body measurements, but you can take to be sure. But you don't need since it is a very free gown. Okay. So this is my ample. So from here, I'll just cut and take it straight. So this is one I'm going to be cutting it into four places okay one on each side of the arm that is front and back front and back so you know it's going to be four so that you place it this way this one here another one on the other side okay okay so I have the four of them all cut out I have the four this is three. This is the fourth one. So the next, I also cut facing. Since I'm not putting an embroidery, I needed something that will contrast with the whole of the fabric. So I cut this facing. Okay. So the next thing to be done will be to. I'm sure you know how to attach your facing. I will proceed to attach, to join the two sides to the center front for both the front and the back. This is what I mean. So I will attach this one here. I will sew this one here. I sew the other one this way. I hope you get that. I also do it at the back. This one here, the piece that contains the armhole. Okay, I will attach it on either side of put the front and the back piece. I'll also do the facing properly. All right, so I've done the joining. Okay, 
And as for the sleeve, I used my bias on it. I hope you see it. This is the way I did it. First, I attached my bias. Then I folded the end to it this way. And then made my stitch on top of it. All right. So the next thing I'm do now, this also is the facing. I've attached it and I'm trying to bead it as you can see. So the next thing I will do will be to join them at the two shoulders, then close it at the two sides, and that will be all. Then I'll fold the hemline. This is actually very, very easy to make. So I'm proceeding to join at the shoulders and then close it up at the two sides and then we are done. Okay, lovely people. And this is what we have at the end of our tutorial. The shorter, the finest, I must tell you. Okay? Yours can be slimmer than my own, but I love them. This free. Okay? Remember, for the sleeve, you make it as wide as you want it to be. Also, don't forget, I did not take any body measurements. You can take yours, okay? You can actually take yours. And I will also proceed to finish up this beautiful neckline. Remember, if you want to do an embroidery, you don't give it any neck cut. Okay, don't forget, once you give it a neck cut, you have spoiled it. It is those people that do the embroidery that knows how they do it. Okay, thank you for watching till the end. And if this tutorial has been helpful to you in any way, give us your thumbs up. And also, if you are new and yet to subscribe, please tap on the subscribe icon you are looking at right now. And also, tap on the notification bell. Okay, to so meet in my next tutorial, please, I will love you that you stay safe, take good care of yourself, be creative, be innovative, and most importantly, keep being nice to people. I love you sincerely from my heart. Bye.